Hi there, sign of Cancer. This is Kim on this very important day, 8-8, for your weekly reading. I'm going to do August 9th through the 15th for your week read. Let's see here. So, calling in your angels, your spirit guides, higher self, higher power for the sign of Cancer. Spirit, give us some messages that are as clear and concise as can be. For this Lionsgate portal, of course, it lasts through the 12th, and it may last even a little bit longer than that. So, I hope you all are doing really good and enjoying your day so far. If you're sleeping, enjoying your snooze so far, this is the Archetype deck. I'm just going to get a couple of cards from it. A couple. Really, a couple. But we'll get a few. <laughs> we'll get a few cards then. Let's see. We have Pilgrim. We have the Desert. We are exploring the desert. That sounds fun. Okay, Cancer, what else do we have? We have Dead End. Gosh, got five. The Shadow, and I'm glad this showed up at the end. The Nectar. <clears throat> All of this looks like a hard process, and it probably is. Um, however, we have the Nectar at the end, meaning that all of this stuff, all these hard stuff, is all about a journey with the pilgrim to making things that were hard into something great. Um, and, and, and if you're aware that everything's happening, you know, for your greater good, then you know that everything's going to turn out really great. So the pilgrim is really big into exploring new lands and um, just exploring new avenues of life in general. So the pilgrim is brave, strong, and um, has to be, has to persevere, okay, because it's like life depends on it with this pilgrim energy. Life depends on you going forward. The desert is getting through a time where you were um, stagnant. Um, I consider the desert like a, a writer that has a writer's block, you know, somebody that's just very talented, but for some reason isn't um, as focused, it's either as focused or they're going through a land where they're meant to not really pick up on anything because this is the hard time. This is the hard time that you get through. This is the ending, I feel, of that hard time, of that desert. We have the dead end. And I see that, you know, I notice the hand here and then the hand here that has the stop, the stop on it. It's like, okay, you've gotten to this these brambles where you cannot go any farther in this Whatever this is, you cannot go any farther, so we're stopping. Um, the shadow here is, everybody knows what the shadow is. The shadow is the parts of you um, that lay within the shadows, the dark edges and corners of our life that if we ignore, can take over in a not so great way. Okay, and they can start to influence all the other parts of us too. So with the shadow, it's important to acknowledge it love it know that it's there that doesn't mean love what you're doing that has to do with the shadow um but just acknowledge, acknowledge and love really so that it can pass through and then like i said all of this comes with a prize at the end there's always yeah i feel like that's a big uh, message for everybody is that there's this cosmic gift at the end there is the prize at the end all right so something ending this is a new time for you. This is exploring. Uh, this is the pilgrim energy. So you're definitely going into uncharted territories, okay? I'm just going to leave that little cluster right there because I think it's good to look at them. But, you know, we'll, we'll see how we're going to deal with the shadow. We'll see how we're going to deal with those energies, too, with the tarot. So... Getting a general read for the sign of cancer, please, spirit. Let's get as many messages as we can to move them forward. What is cancer's, um, in general, for the week, the 9th through the uh, 15th, what do, what do they have to look forward to? Pretty much the star. The star, the nectar, that, you know, new, new uh, birth of a new business or baby or new opportunity. Um, the star here is all about the hopes and the dreams manifest. This is um, the things that you've been working on or thinking about for quite some time, really, with the star. It's like you've been, you've been eyeing this prize, this goal 
for a long time and you had to find your way and navigate to where this could be possible. Could be dealing with Aquarius too. The challenge is the two of one staying focused on track and driven and motivated. And also two of wands always represents for me the possibilities that you haven't seen yet regarding new job, new um, pathway. You know what I mean? Uh, new ways to get to this star energy. So be very focused. The root of everything is that you would be really focused, but you're exhausted. You're close to burnout here. So the Ten of Wands, just be very careful. Be very, very careful about um, burnout, exhaustion. Um, because it can be like starting over. You know, if you don't pace yourself, you may have to run the race again. And, and what's weird is I just put up this deck, but this card fell out. Self-love. So, this is not the picture of self-love. When you're doing too much and you need to lighten your load, then we need to have enough love for ourselves to make that happen. So, I am going to put that self-love there. I feel like that is definitely a message for you. It just kind of fell out of the deck earlier. So, past energy. Eight of Pentacles. You're working on your dream. You're working on things and you got really exhausted. You got to a point of burnout. That happens. It happens, especially when um, we're like, I'm going to try anything. I'm going to, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's kind of like I'm feeling a state of anxiety um, and stress, maybe over bills or about what is to be created. The present energy. For Cancer is the devil card. And look, it came over here on the shadow. How dramatic. <laughs> what a dramatic appearance, devil. Um, this is about your attachments. And it's about things that may be related to your shadow. Things that might be considered addictions, bad um, codependent behaviors, um, definitely addictions. You know, we have food, we have gambling, we have drugs, we have so many things. that get, Video gaming. We have so many things that you can get addicted to uh, to stop you from being on your course. And that would be the goal. Of this darker energy it would be to get you away from winning because then you're no longer attached to what they have to offer so that could be Capricorn too okay the near future energy okay we have two then I didn't know two was gonna come out but yeah okay near future energy we have you being a little timid here seven of wands in the reverse and we have page of cups in the reverse which is usually a feeling of oh my goodness this is hopeless you shouldn't feel that way uh, just i mean i understand why you do because you're in this desert energy okay so things are are creating you just have to make sure that you don't give in to these shadow aspects these shadow aspects are what is making you have self-doubt and it's what's making you stay kind of pe pessimistic instead of optimistic so just be careful with that um this is a pattern. This is a pattern that you're going to need to change. The being timid and people pleasing and um, not standing up for yourself and what you want. That is going to be a problem if you don't get that right away. Like, go ahead and address that. You are feeling like the Four of Cups and you're feeling like the Page of Cups. So you're feeling a little hopeless and you're feeling like you are totally over something. Whether it's this addiction, um, bad attachment whatever it is you're over it <laughs> you're over it it's like time to change time to change you're over it you're just kind of bored complacent not liking where you're at at the moment will of fortune and the outside influence okay once again i'm going to say because it's in a reverse it's not that the good fortune is in here it's all in how you're seeing and applying your time once again, the shadow is telling you that you're stuck in, stuck in bad luck, that you just don't have good luck for things to turn your way. That is not true. So the point of this reading is to point out to you that these things are illusions. They are actually delusions. You're going to be deluding yourself if you believe in that. Okay, the heart of the, uh, heart of the matter, the uh, hopes and fears, Knight of Wands, that you'll go fastly towards whatever it is that you want, that's your Six of Wands, that you'll get your... Um, you know, fame, notoriety, uh, recognition, success, quickly. That would be a hope. I think these are 
probably the fears. You think or feel like there's only one way to do something. And, and when you're banking and waiting on that one way, then you're missing all these other opportunities. And that's the message here with this. That's why something is not moving forward the way that it really could be is because you're just not seeing it any other way. You're not seeing it happen any other way. So there's a, the challenge is seeing the other possibilities. There's the same message there. So you have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer. Not feeling like yourself, are you? All right, nice. This is the outcome, though. Two of Cups. This is my cup for true love. True love. Self-love. True love. It comes and it mirrors around you and everything you do when you pick up the vibe of self-love. When you're totally into yourself and you're into taking care of any shadow situations, you know, so that you can be fully in your power, then everything starts to reflect that for you. This is also great partnerships, whether this is in career, um, I don't even want to say finance, finance, whatever it is, you won't be doing something by yourself anymore. You'll still be just as prosperous as the Nine of Pentacles and financial windfall will come your way, but I have a feeling that it's going to be with you uh, get either receiving help from another person or there's a collaboration that will take place that will really help you get back to the level where you belong, where you belong. I can't say, let's get the fortune cookie. And I'm going to wrap up your reading. I know it was a little short, but sunshine and the sun with the lion's portal. The sun is um, lined up with the brightest star Sirius right now. So it says the, sh the sun is shining on you. Career and business growth. Fabulous communication and relationships. All right. And fairy dust. Let's get us some fairy dust, please. And this could be Gemini too, by the way. Travel is on the cards, guys. You may be over so overextended and tired and exhausted that it's time for you to have a vacation. Of all the things you can do, travel is in the cards for you. So it's beautiful, Cancer. I love it. You will have a really great week. Join me back for your next 48-hour readings. Bye.